afternoon, Doctor. Hello, Dorothy. I've brought a friend, Squadron Leader Forrester. He's a pilot. Dorothy's from Rangoon. Glad to know you. How do you do? Dorothy, my dear, we're thirsty men. Of course. Please sit down, Mr. Forrester, and I will get you something cool to drink. Very kind of you. Lime juice, please. The lime juice is wonderful. Whatever you wish. The lime juice will be just fine. Where's Anna? At the dispensary. She'll be back soon. Oh, good. I managed to bring a little rice. Oh, thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Please sit down, and I will get the lime. Thank you. I usually try and bring them something for the kitchen. Fruit's all right, but not all the time. And they can't buy food. They came here stripped of everything. All the way from Rangoon. Can you imagine what it must have been like? Hundreds of miles. I don't know, I never ever got through alive. Sleep for a moment. Several moments. Uh, where's the doctor? He and Dorothy went down to the dispensary. I'm Anna. How do you do? My name's Forrester. I know. They sent me up here to see if you were all right. They said that you'd gone to sleep even before you had time to have a drink. Well, that was very rude of me. It was very, very rude. But no one minded at all. Please sit down. Thank you. I've ever tasted. When one is thirsty, it always tastes better. Have you been in Burma long? About three months. Do you like it? Well, I don't know, really. Life's pretty much the same on an airfield, whatever country you're in. Except that it's hotter here. When the cool weather comes, you may like it better. Oh, I don't dislike it. I just don't know it. No one knows it. Not all of Burma. Rice and rubies. <laughs> That's about all I knew about Burma before I came here. There are stones here if you wish to buy them, Mr. Forrester. Oh, that's very kind of you. It isn't far. Well, I think the doctor was wanting to get back. Oh, no. He always goes late. There's plenty of time. All right. I'll be glad. These are rubies, sir. Yes. These are white sapphires. And uh, these are golden amethysts. It's very nice. I mean, when I finish, I'll go on to the shop. I'll go on to the shop. I'll go on to the shop. They say that if you will come tomorrow, they will try to have a bigger selection. Zircons and emeralds, perhaps. Well, that's, uh, that's very kind of them. Tell them that I'll try to make it. Jesus, tomorrow. Jesus, tomorrow. Jesus, tomorrow. Zawa. Well, uh, 
Thank you. Please, thank you. Thank Please, you. goodbye, sir. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Good. Goodbye. Thank you. You didn't really want to buy us doings, did you? Not really, no. You're the first officer who's come here not bought jewels. Am I? All of them come for jewels. So I assumed that you had two. That is why I took you to those people. You should have said. It was very interesting. It's just that I have no one in particular to give jewels to. No one? I'm sorry. No need to be sorry. The doctor tells me that your sister comes from Rangoon. You too? Yes. I was at the university there. Studying what? The humanities. It's not very much used to me here. But I have learned a little about nursing. So now I help the doctor with the sick in the village. Are there many sick? I'm afraid they are. How do they feel about us being here? It's been explained to them that it is necessary. It's been explained to us too that it's necessary. Down there's the river. We swim there. Any crocodiles? No, no crocodiles. Very nice here. Next time I fly over this place, it'll seem more friendly. Didn't it seem friendly before? Never thought about it. Most of you people hated her, don't you? You long for home. I don't. Not ever. No. Well, I guess the doctor will be wanting to get back to camp. 